I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on quadrilaterals and this time we have taken up kite. Consider a quadrilateral ABCD with two of its vertices being minus 1 minus 3 and 2 3. Determine coordinates of other vertices so that the quadrilateral formed is a kite. Now I've seen a lot of interest in my subscribers in knowing about this quadrilateral kite and based on that I have designed this particular question. It is unique. Now I've taken up two points. I'm not saying whether these are A, B, C or D. It is all up to you. So pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestions. Now let's read the question once again. Consider a quadrilateral ABCD where two of its vertices being minus 1, minus 3 and 2, 3. Determine coordinates of other vertices so that the quadrilateral formed is a kite. I do have many examples where we are given three vertices and we need to find the fourth one. In this particular case, I have given you a lot of flexibility. Just two are given to you. Find the other two. So obviously, there could be multiple answers and your answer may not match mine, right? But the idea here is to understand the strategy. That's, that's all about it. Now let us see how to solve, in general, uh, questions about kite. Now when we are given two vertices, I prefer to take them as two extremes, right? So minus 1, minus 3 may be somewhere right there in the bottom and 2, 3 somewhere right there on the top. So these are my two points. Now I prefer to join them with the line and then work it out. So let me sketch a line first, joining these two vertices. Okay, slightly off, doesn't matter. The beauty is that we are not working on a restricted graph. So that is the beauty of flexibility, right? So I've marked my points now. And since we are saying A, B, C, D, I will assume this to be, let us say A, and coordinates of point A is minus 1, minus 3. I'll leave B somewhere there, and then take this as C, okay? And for me, C is 2, 3. So I get two points of the quadrilateral. Now since I want to make this quadrilateral a kite, then what should I be looking at? Well, special feature of kite is that the diagonals are perpendicular, right? So the special feature is diagonals are at right angles, you can say, or they are perpendicular, right? So that is what special feature is. That means I could just draw any diagonal, uh, the other diagonal, which is at right angles to this particular line. So let this be this diagonal. So we got another diagonal. Now we know that this is perpendicular, right? So how do we get two other points of our kite? The idea is that if it is perpendicular, right, then we also need the two sides of this diagonal to be exactly same. So that is to say that one of the diagonal is the right bisector of the other, right? So, so we have one diagonal as right bisector of the other. So we have one diagonal as right bisector, not both, okay? Right bisector of other, right? So that is the second feature which we explore. Now, when I say right bisector, right I understand perpendicular bisector means that the sides are such that these are equal so okay so let me mark these two points as the other two points on the kite and obviously if I connect four points if I connect four points so let me now connect these four points so what happens if I connect these four points for example kind of like this right so what I have is a kite. 
Now, since this is the right bisector, these two will be equal and these will also be equal, right? So that is how our kite is going to look. Well, let me just complete by saying B, C and then D, right? No harm. We don't know what these points are. Let me write this as X, Y for the time being. Okay. Now what we can do here is we can always have coordinates of a point on the line. Right. So let's try to find coordinates of this point O first. So before that, let's find equation of the line AC. So we'll now work on finding equation of the line AC. And we can start with y equals to mx plus b, right? Slope of this line m will be rise over run. That is y2 minus y1. That means 3 minus minus 3, right? 3 minus minus 3. That is the y2 difference in y values and difference in x values 2 minus minus 1. Right. And that gives us slope of 6 over 3 which is 2. So we get slope of 2. To get the equation, I can use one of the coordinates. Let 2, 3 be a coordinate. Right. So using the point 2, 3, so what we are doing is we have the equation y equals to 2x plus b. To find b, we are using the coordinates 2, 3, which happens to be for the point c. So 3 is y value, 2 is x value. So we can bring it here and then we get minus 1 as b. Correct. And therefore, we get the equation of this line ac and the equation is y equals 2 slope is 2, 2x, two and b is minus 1, correct? So that is our equation number 1, and this is for the line AC, correct? So this line has equation 2x minus 1. Let me just divide this page. We'll further work on the right side. Now the idea is how to get point O on this line, okay? Now we know x value of minus 1, 2. Point O x value should be between minus 1 and 2. Right? Why not just take x as 1? So if I take x equals to 1, then y will be equals to 2 times 1 minus 1, which is also 1. So let me take point O, whose coordinates now will be 1, 1. You get an idea. You could take any other point in between minus 1 and 2. You could take 0, right? Or a decimal number if you want to. Correct? But I find this to be a better point. So, we get the point O now. Correct? Once we get point O, we can find equation of line DB. So, that is the next part. So, so what we will do is, this is our line 1. Now let's find the equation of line 2. And that will be line db, right? So line db. What we know here is they are at right angles. And therefore, slope of db should be negative reciprocal of 2. That is minus half. And this db also goes through point 0, which is, I mean, O, which is 1 1 correct so we need to find equation of a line with slope minus half that means y equals to minus half x plus b and this line passes through 1 1 so let's put 1 here and 1 for the other x right so there's this 1 plus b that gives you the value of b as bringing it to this side 1 plus half is 3 by 2 right so we get the equation as y equals to minus half x plus 3 over 2. You get an idea, right? So we get the equation of the other diagonal, right? So now we have equation of both these lines with their point of intersection also. Now we need to find two points on the second diagonal so that we can form a kite. So for that, what we do is, we again assume a value of x. You get an idea. We assume a value of x because point on 
line db means you can assume any value of x let x be equal to x equals to 2 in that case y will be minus half times 2 plus 3 over 2 and that gives me that is minus 1 right minus 1 plus 3 over 2 and that is half correct so we get a value of y as half so we get x as 2 and y as half right point b as 2 and half do you see 0 0.5 that is the y value now we know the coordinates of point b how do you find coordinates of point d that is the next question we know that 1 1 is the center of d and b therefore assuming d is x and y and b now we know is 2 and half 0 0.5 we can find x with the help of the midpoint so x plus 2 which is the average of the x values divided by 2 should be equal to 1 right that gives x plus 2 equals to cross multiply and x equals to 2 minus 2 which is 0 do you see that so we get an x value of 0 so this d is at x equals to 0 now in the equation you can substitute x equals to 0 and find y value so if x is 0 y should be minus half times 0 plus 3 over 2 so it is 1.5 or 3 over 2 so in this particular case we get point d as x value of 0 and y value of 1.5 and we found point b as 2 and a half do you see that so that is how you can find the other two points of the kite now my suggestion is go through this video once again try to change some values and get new result you could also do something instead of taking x as 2 if you take x as 1 try with try with x equals to 1 and then then work out the same thing find the point d right so so it could be a kite like this also do you see that it could be a kite like this also with different value of x you may get a different quadrilateral but it is going to be a kite i hope with this the concept of getting coordinates for kite are more clear and this should help many of my subscribers who are seeking to understand it i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.